Hi beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, welcome to Nene Glam World. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you're subscribed because we are going to be doing an Earth Girl makeup look. As you can see, I'm already adorned in the Earth Girl aesthetic. And uh, after getting adorned from with the Earth Girl aesthetic, I'm telling you, this look is going to be fabulous because the Earth Girls, they eat, they're fire. They breathe fire. They're amazing. They're gorgeous. They're just absolutely fabulous. And of course, we have to start off with skin prep or skin care. And for skin care, I'm going to be using uh, directly on my skin. I haven't applied anything prior to that. I'm using the Garnier Charcoal Serum because it's really good for acne prone skin, which I have. So I'm just applying it all over my face, all over my skin. And then after that, I'm going to go in with this. Um, Hayalu B5. That name normally reads me. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Hayalu. De La Roche Posse Hayalu B5 Serum. And it's it's a moisturizing serum that actually has SPF in it. It has SPF 30 in it, so I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to apply it all over my face. And then now time for the fun part, which is the makeup and Earth girls look natural, okay? They look natural even if they have makeup on. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply my primer, my makeup primer. And this is one of my favorite makeup primers that I've ever encountered. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Primer, specifically the Luminous Primer. Just look at how gorgeous my skin is already looking. It's already radiant so i've just applied at the lumina sprema which normally leaves like a nice natural sheen on your skin and it it's going to be the base for our makeup just to make sure that the makeup sticks onto the face and doesn't slide off <laughs> of course it's not going to slide off but the primer acts you know makes it better and then now we're going to do our eyebrows and for eyebrows i normally just drew the outline first and like I said, Earth Girl makeup is somewhat of a natural makeup look. It's makeup, yes, but it produces a natural effect. So I'll just be filling in my brows. I'm using a black pencil because that is what shows on my skin, specifically with this type of camera. This is what shows most on my skin. It's uh, If I put a dark brown one, it might not show well. Maybe it has something to do with the lighting. So I'm just going to fill in my brows gently. And then after filling in the brows, I'll go in with a brow gel. And the brow gel that I'm using is the Rimmel Brow Gel. This is their wonderful brow gel, which is just a clear brow gel. So I'm just going to apply the brow gel on top so that it makes sure that the eyebrows stay in place, that they don't budge or move around as you are doing the rest of your makeup. And just to make sure that the eyebrows are more visible on my skin tone, I'm going to go above and below them with this concealer. And the concealer is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and that is the shade Fawn. So the purpose of this step is just to create a contrast between the brows and your skin so that they are more visible on my skin tone because sometimes my skin tone just tends to swallow the color up. So now that they are more visible, I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the shade Cafe. I can definitely go a shade darker when it comes to this concealer. I think next time I will look for the darker shade. And uh, this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is really, really great. It blends like butter. It's so creamy. It's so smooth. It's so nice. I absolutely love it. So I'm just using it as an eyeshadow primer because I do not have an eyeshadow primer, so you can definitely use your concealer as an eyeshadow primer. And it's going to make sure that your eyeshadow pops, your eyeshadow sticks on. If the colors are bright on your eyeshadow, they are going to be more visible. Because dark skin tends to like swallow up eyeshadow colors too. So next I'm just going to like dab this concealer. This is a color corrector. And it's also by Illegal. It's the orange color corrector. And the purpose of an orange color corrector is just to cover any dark spots. 
and even out your skin tone. So I'm just going to cover the dark spots and make sure that my skin is even. And I'm just using a brush, I'm just patting it in. So you just put the color corrector where you, you want, you know, if you have dark under eye circles, it's also great for that. But I generally never have dark under eye circles. I mean, they're there a little bit, but they are not so conspicuous. And then for, for foundation, um, I'm just going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade number 9N. And the reason I'm using this foundation, as I said, the Earth Girl makeup or the Earth Girl aesthetic is based on a natural look. And this is one of the most lightweight foundations that I have. Among all the affordable foundations, I think this one is really the most skin-like. Like, it, it is really skin-like. As you can see, by the time I'll be through with blending, it will be, you won't even know I put on foundation. And it also feels the same. So if we want that a thick girl aesthetic, definitely we need to do that. And then after blending it in with a beauty blender, by the way, what I'm using is a beauty blender and I'm using a damp beauty blender, not a dry one. A damp, damp one blends better. And then I'm going to go in with the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer that I used as an eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. And I'm going to use it to highlight the areas that I want highlighted on my face. And also my under eyes, I want to brighten them. Once we are satisfied with the blending, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Superstay Concealer, which is will produce a more brightening effect. And I'm also going to contour my nose. After we are done doing that, we are going to set our concealer because if you do not set your concealer, it will crease in your skin. Therefore, I'm just using the Black Opal Setting Powder and that is the shade Medium. That's the one I'm going to use to set my under eyes because as I said with the Earth Girl makeup, it, it needs to look as, as natural as possible. So I think with us girls, they tend to avoid the yellow, you know, setting powder that really makes the under eyes like super yellow. So you want it to look a bit natural. And then now we're going to do eyeshadow as the rest of our concealer sets. So for eyeshadow, like I said, natural eyeshadow, I've just gone with like a really light brown shade and then a sort of medium brown just in the outer corners and I'm just going to leave it like that as a blank canvas and then after that I'm just going to just slightly brighten my inner corners of the eyes with a shimmer shadow much as it looks very very natural the earth girl aesthetic there are certain tweaks that they use and one of them is really bright in a corner. 
I'm also going to tight line my waterline using this Zara Cosmetics Black Eyeliner. And I'm not going to draw a wing. Like I say, this is an all natural look. I'm just going to uh, align my waterline and that's it. And I'll also just do the other eye and that's it for tight lining my waterline before I put on my false lashes. I'm also going to take this Maybelline Kajal and line my lower waterline. And you probably saw me doing a short video on this very same makeup look, on this very same Af girl trend. But as I promised you guys, I won't just be doing short videos, I'll also be doing the long form tutorial so that in case you're interested in recreating this look, you can know exactly what I did to create that look and not just seeing it in a short video. But if you're also interested in the short video, I might link it in the description box below just to make sure that you can see what I'm talking about. And I also put mascara on my lower lashes, as you guys saw, before I'm doing my lips right now. And for lips, we're going to go as natural as possible. We know that the Earth Girls love their natural look. I don't know how many times I'll say this in this video, but Earth Girl equals to na almost natural makeup. It's almost like the clean girl aesthetic, but with like, you know, half girls <laughs> almost not completely the clean girl aesthetic has its own tweaks so i've just applied like a peachy burgundy brownish pencil on my lips and then i'm just going to like line again with this dark pencil just to demarcate my lips because i feel like that color that i applied on my lips literally looks like my face and we don't want that so I'm just going to line my lips with like a dark, a black pencil, although it does appear dark brown, but I'll blend it until it does look dark brown. And then I'm going to go on top of that lipstick with the or lip pencil with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Lipstick. This is the shade Amazonian. It's usually like a really light brown or a really pale brown lipstick with like orangish undertones to it like peach undertones to it and I just like blend it out and then on top of that I'm just going to go with uh, actually the earth girls normally walk this signature lip look this two-toned lip look and I think I did manage to pull it off they, they mostly have two-toned lips, which is a natural occurrence to most dark-skinned girls, but I don't have naturally two-toned lips. I just have one tone. And then I've just applied glitter or lip oil. It wasn't glitter. It was lip oil on top of that lipstick. And then I'm removing the setting powder that I used to apply on top of my concealer to set my concealer. And then I'm going to use this peach blush. Uh, this is the She Glam Blush in the shade Devoted and I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks to step drop. I'm not going to drag it up because I want to look like as natural as possible. I don't want to create that lifted look, high cheekbone look. So I'm just applying it like smack on the center of my cheeks. Uh, with blush you can, you know, put, place it wherever you want and you'll create different looks with the placement of your blush just your blush alone can create different looks so i've just applied its mark on the you know directly on my cheeks and then i'm going to pat in with that brush until i feel like it's blended sufficiently and then afterwards i think we are going to do like a little bit of setting powder all over the rest of our face not just the areas we concealed. And I think that is literally the Earth Girl aesthetic. Now I'm going to put on the wig that I 
did rubber bands on and some jewelry to give the earth girl aesthetic so lots of beads lots of wood lots of you know um african jewelry and also nose rings piercings and just i love this look i wish i just had the guts to walk around with it which i don't but <laughs> i love it and uh, i'm also going to like add a little bit of highlight on my nose using the nyx glue shots they're for eyes but i normally just use them on my nose because they are really shiny and that is it guys what do you think tell me in the comment section below <laughs> <laughs>